And with New Beginnings, you guys, it is a chance and an opportunity to look inside, to reflect, to think of how you want to be remembered. And start working on that person today. Hello and good morning everyone. Good morning you guys. It is a new day, a new beginning. It is December 1st. It's the beginning of a lot of things. We just wanted to start off this vlog in a special way and just tell each and every one of you how much we love you guys. We love you so much and we're so grateful for all the comments, the DMs. I didn't think I was gonna cry. I was thinking that that was maybe out of the way by now. <laughs> I still lot, you guys. have tears in I, there. I, you gotta stop drinking any kind of liquid mini because it keeps coming right back out. I know. Okay, I'm good. We're good. It goes in moments. <laughs> it does. It's it's a but lot of ups I, and downs. When I think of the love we felt and the prayers that have been sent our way, it's a little overwhelming. Mm. Oh, okay. I didn't expect this, guys. I should go back to bed. I actually came on here to say we promise it's not going to become just this sob-filled vlog. It's not. It's not. What are you talking about? <laughs> there is a lot of happiness yet to be shared and yet to be had, you guys. We know that a lot of you are just receiving the news of my dad's past. We were able to actually sit down and shoot that a while ago We just held on to it until my mom was comfortable with sharing it with the world And so we had a beautiful funeral service yesterday. It was incredible you guys Absolutely as far as the worst day of your life goes It was the best <laughs> it could have possibly been just an amazing service My mom actually did suggest that we put a link to the funeral service in the description because it was recorded on zoom And she just thought it was so beautiful that it'd be worth sharing with the world So I'm gonna put that in the description if you, you guys, guys want to. the talks that they gave they were able to just be poised and the way they they spoke. It was incredible. The kids sang and oh my, oh gosh. my mm. gosh. Oh my gosh. And that's something that we prayed for because that everyone could kind of maintain composure because we do tend to babble a bit and once we get crying it's hard to understand what we're saying and so we're really grateful that everything just went as well as it possibly could have. I feel like my dad was incredibly honored. He really was. Uh, but you guys, a lot of you getting some heavy news right now as we record this today. So we wanted to jump in and very first thing say that we just love you. We're supporting you. We know that a lot of you feel so connected to this family. You feel like you've lost a loved one and so we just want you to know that we love you and we're there for you and we're going to continue to bring you happiness, joy, and share in life's journey with you. Thank you for all of your love and your support. And yes, you guys, there is a lot of fun stuff coming up. Even though it feels weird that we'd be like looking forward to having fun. Like everything um, just like paused in life and then it's like now We've that never done that. Ever. We've never taken, never, we've never paused. I was actually going to talk about that because a lot of people wouldn't know the significance of us not posting last Wednesday. That was something that was very intentional. You guys, if you've been here for any amount of time, you know that we just simply do not miss posting. Now we don't post on Sundays and, no. and that's for different reasons, but we never we haven't missed in four or five years posting a video. I've talked about it. I've edited vlogs with eyes sewn shut and, and with <laughs> broken bones true. healing and all kinds of stuff <laughs> to make sure we get content up. And even on that day, we had something ready to go. But as the signs were indicating that that would be the day my dad would probably pass, we just felt it would be a respectful and I think meaningful moment of silence that on that day in Bingham history, if you were to search through the archives of YouTube, there would be nothing that day because nothing else mattered that day except being there with him. And so that was intentional, a moment of silence on our channel to not post on that day. Day. We are back now. We are back in full swing. We are back ready and excited to share our lives. It's <laughs> December 1st and I think we have a holiday coming up. I'm not quite sure because we've lost touch of everything I heard everything that's just before on. all this went down that like Christmas is As coming. As I drive through the neighborhood, I'm like, what are these lights? It has not felt like the holidays, but we know that we're going to get back into the swing of things. Everyone just came out of yesterday feeling ready to tackle life. I mean, as ready as you can be. And I mentioned this when I went out to see Maddie and it was just so refreshing to pick up the camera again. It's just an extension of my body at this point, having a camera it right really there. Is. Sharing creating content, all of those things, just being creative in my head is how I deal with a lot of stuff in life. I and think so it's something, therapeutic for you. It is, it is. It just it's makes me feel good. better, it de-stresses, it just brings me great joy and happiness. So we are excited to jump back in and be with you guys again. Just like we saw a little moment there where Mindy got emotional, there will be that. ups and downs in happen. the coming days. And what I think is great about vlogging and being able to share the things that we're comfortable sharing, if there are times that it's just too much, probably set the camera down. Then when we're feeling the strength to do it, like we were this morning, pick it up, talk to you guys. Sometimes and Mindy will I might apart. feel strong and then I realize I'm <laughs> really weak. And that's how it's going to go for a while, you guys. And that is part of life's beautiful journey. There are different ways, different phases and stages of the grieving process. And so we're in this together. We are rallying around my mom. That is the biggest thing. And it is really cool to see the family just come together. It's been and really incredible. We've been together this entire time. I mean, it's been like a week and a half now. Yeah, and every day, together. all day, it seems like. It's and been awesome. even tonight, we're getting back together here at the house. And so we're just there for each other. I want you guys to know we're there for you. I talked about new beginnings at the beginning of this vlog. You may have noticed that we are going to start a fresh season, season six, episode one. And we're just going to start a new chapter in life here. It felt appropriate. Sometimes we do it at the beginning of the new year. Sometimes we do it on like a milestone of subscribers. It just felt like this was an appropriate time to start a new chapter and a new season on the vlog as well. So as we dive back into a fresh season and back to regular daily vlogs, I did want to throw out there that the movies that we posted and you guys were so understanding and having those go up instead of a vlogs, it did have some hidden meanings that I stuck in those. Those were chosen intentionally because the first one was me and Ragai going on a father-son trip mm -hmm. to San Francisco, something that I was inspired to
tried to do for Ryler because that's something that my dad did for me, holding it together, here we go. And that was very significant to me that my dad actually did something very similar when I was a kid and so I wanted to bring that share with my kids and so significance of that movie. And then the follow-up movie was the movie in New York and the significance oh of gosh. that is that was the last time that we were all together as a family in the temple for Dan and Shell's ceiling that we were all together in New York as a family. There were some subtle but significant meanings to those particular movies so if you haven't had a chance to watch those, go back and check them out. Probably mean a lot more to everyone now with the knowledge of what's been going on. There have been moments that have happened just in these last two months that they've been home that have been straight gifts from God. We've, way to we've just it. had like moments that we've never had in they, the Bingham family. They've I been mean, home for 10 weeks and we've slammed in a full retirement's worth of I think fun we did and family three trips and with them. Yeah. To California twice with them and then New York. New York and it was just really special. So when you do watch those, like Brennan said, they might mean something just a little bit more to you now. Now, getting back into life, we do have to get back into our routine. Kids are at school. I'm about to go pick them up right now. We haven't checked in on the house in a long time. Life <laughs> is kind of coming off of pause, resuming and ramping up. It was great actually to be able to break into vlogging again and communicating with you guys again by going out to see Maddie because it was a big significant thing that was a nice and much needed entry point to all of yeah. this. We are ready to be back. We are grateful to each of you for the opportunity to take a little bit of time off there. So thank you for that. I'm sure you're anxious to see how the kids are doing. It caught up to speed on life. So I'm going to go pick them up. We are hosting tonight and our house looks like we haven't been here for a week and a half. So I'm going to get to that. You get the kids. Maybe let's go check out the house. I want to see what's going on over there. You should do that. kids back home on a short day today, back home at one o'clock in the afternoon. So we've got a full afternoon yes, ahead of us. <laughs> they love being home. Rexy's little face a little red because he had PE right before he got out of class and so his face is a little red. Hazy girl got an adorable present from her teacher today that she can sleep with at night. And it is one of her favorite things in the world. In fact, it's kind of one of the things Rexy's yeah. asking for for Christmas is a Squishmallow, uh -huh. right? I'm also asking for Squishmallow. Well, uh, guess what? You got an early one. So you got that early. Uh, Mom has already taken off. She took Rye Guy to an orthodontist appointment. He's been wearing, never really got a chance to talk to you guys about this. He's wearing this pretty heavy duty retainer like hooks underneath and then reaches out and around to these pieces on the front of his mouth anyways he's trying to get those last little details lined up before the permanent retainer can be placed on his upper teeth and so he's got an appointment to check on that today he's thinking it's probably another four weeks hoping to have that put in place and the retainer gone by Christmas but we will find out when he gets back from that appointment he told us today also that his friends had decorated his locker left a bunch of candy in there and it's just one of the many many things and many ways that we have been reached out to and supported and loved and it's just incredible it's incredible to see humankind and the goodness that there is in that and so we been very very grateful for now you guys we're going to be getting back into some of the after-school routine that we have not been keeping up on kids getting into their homework reading we'll do some chores I do want to go check in on the house we told our builder they've been kind enough to not bother us with text as far as what updates are happening at the house apparently a lot has gone down in the last week so we want to go see what's been going on there told them we're ready to get back into heading up there checking in on it filming the progress then hazy's got dance today Wednesdays are typically pretty busy days to begin with but then we're also gonna be having the family over tonight to watch a really special video that Daniel put together it was playing at the service both the viewing and the funeral and it's this incredible walk through my dad's entire life he went through thousands of pictures had them digitized so that they could be put into video it's just this incredible incredible thing that I believe they're going to be posting eventually on their channel so that the world can share in that they want to make sure that everyone can get a chance to watch it here in the house tonight because we haven't actually been able to watch it from start to finish just kind of played on a loop during the services we're looking forward to that greatly like Mindy said it's been about a week and a half since we have given this house any attention of any kind and so with family coming over time to get back to life time to start picking up some of the mess Dry guy is back. What is the verdict, bro? Do you have a permanent retainer on the top or not? I yeah. sure don't. Oh, that's <laughs> so what they say. They said I've been wearing it very well. A lot of change. Fold them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have it on until the beginning of January. So not by Christmas like you hoped, yeah, but early January, dude. Done with retainers for the rest of your life? That's not too yeah, bad. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. That's not too bad. Well, that's great news. I told them that uh, your friends decorate your locker, got yeah, some fun candy oh, today. So yeah. That's pretty cool. Too bad you can't eat it because you have to wear your retainer. <laughs> I'll eat it oh. for you. I think mom and I have a quick moment before we gotta come back and really get the house clean, hazy off to dance. We want to go see the progress on the lot. So do you want to go with me really quick and Let's check it out? It. Yeah. The 
lot of activity going on here at the house today. Holy cow. Yeah, a ton, you guys. They've gotten all of the electrical and all of the plumbing done in the basement. It's wild. There's all of these pipes in here that weren't here. There's so much more dirt filled in. We see we these like electrical boxes is, up against but... the wall. We've been very out of the loop. So this is the first that we're seeing it in probably 10 days. So Yes, we've had some, some conversations with our builder as time has gone on. Seeing it is like a whole different And we're trying story. to figure out what this stuff is over here. We've got these tarps. We think maybe they laid those out. They've got a bulldozer and the track over here today filling in dirt. It was kind of crazy up there by the driveway. Yeah, it's now filled, filled all, all the way up and flat. Yeah. That's wild. We are on track. They said the house is running great. We're going to be doing rock chucker next week. And rock chucker, by the way, is our technical term for when they backfill up against the he side of the like house, I think. And then they put in like that layer of gravel in here. I think he, he keeps calling it a rock chucker. We don't really know. And then they're going to pour the concrete. It sounds like next Friday. And then that will be the concrete layer across the top of this so that it's actually the foundation filled, sealed of the home. And then the framing can begin, I believe, on top of that. Guys, that's when next. it starts feeling real. I mean, this feels real. It's I very think real when the framing and you see walls go up, you're like, oh my gosh, this is going to be a you real house. You can actually see the house. And I kind of want to go over there and peek in that place where they were messing with the pool stuff when we were last here. I want to go see what they have in there. But a lot of progress here, you guys. A lot of things going down. Got the sunglasses on because it is very sunny out here. Also kind of hides the puffiness of the eyes today as we arrived. We were just commenting and talking about how one of the last things Papa did here with us was climb all over these dirt hills to get different views of the inside of the home. He wanted to know the ins and outs where every room was going to connect to every hallway. And he was just climbing hands and feet up and down these dirt hills. Just very grateful that he was able to see this beginning process of this. And we know that he'll be here with us through the completion. That's the swimming pool stuff. Holy cow, that is so much more stuff than I thought it would be. Right? That's gotta be this. Look at all those gauges across yeah. the top of that. And this, I have no idea what any of this regulates. This is what they were working this on the last time we were up here. electrical and that's the plumbing for it. Wow. I think. Glad that it's in place. So this is wild. This was like 12 or more feet straight down, 18 feet or something. And now the flat driveway, you can go straight into the garage from here. house is well in hand. Lots going on up here. In fact, as we were standing here, some concrete cutters showed up. Concrete? Concrete cutters showed up to open up some of the windows from the windows meeting that Mindy had, make them a little bit wider, Bigger. get a doorway a little bit taller. Stuff is in full swing up here. It's great to come back and check in on this. I could stand here all day and watch it. Though. And I told Mindy, I was like, sweetie, we got to get home. Like, we I got know, people I coming over. Normally she's the one saying we need to go, but you get her watching a tractor move dirt and you I can't get her to leave. I don't know what it is. <laughs> house looks fantastic. Mindy was, was just commenting. Say, now we can at least turn the camera that way. It's probably a good thing that we ended up oh. posting here because we may have sat in that filth for quite some time before we had the energy to get back to picking it up. Yeah, you know, I feel like I've had a dose of what really matters and sometimes the dirty house doesn't matter. Sometimes it's okay to let that go, but we are grateful to have cleanliness restored back in the house. As you can see, mom's done a phenomenal job getting everything top notch. We got a pile of pizza here. People are on their way. We're going to get started. We're just going to eat some pizza, watch this incredible film that Daniel made. We haven't had a chance to listen to it. He put in some really cool stuff like voicemails mm -hmm from my dad, video clips over time. It's gonna be really awesome, really emotional. We wanted to do that all together. That's gonna be happening here at our house. It should be showing up any minute now. What an incredible evening tonight, you guys. The entire family came over tonight, watched the video that Daniel put together, guys. I didn't realize this. He put 20 hours into that video. Oh my gosh. Thousands of pictures, hours of video. He even included audio file voicemails <laughs> from my dad. There was not a dry eye in the basement. Which, by the way, you guys, they're going to be posting the entire video on their channel, Dan and Shell. So check that out. Labor of Love went into that. My mom wanted it posted for the world to see. So go check that out, you guys. Give that a watch. But just a special moment to share together as a family. We also drew names for Secret Santa. If you guys have been here for a few Christmases, you know that we do a full family Secret Santa. So that combines a service with a gift, even the grandkids get involved so we drew so those fun. names tonight that is fully underway it is now the month of december it's time to start shifting our focus and our minds towards christmas i think we're gonna even set up for christmas this weekend something yeah, that we haven't been thinking about at all we gotta get it going hazy just said she wishes that fred would come fred come on fred. i think fred is on pause because usually he doesn't come until we set up christmas so he's waiting on us and that is okay and guys thank you so much for the flooding and outpouring of love support messages from you guys once the announcement came out you guys have been incredible we've just felt your love from all around the world we can't thank you guys enough oh, thank you guys so much it means so much to us also 
Also, again, just a reminder, the entire funeral program can be viewed at a Zoom link where it was recorded. I'll put that in the description for you guys to view as well because that was pretty special. When I went and saw Maddie out on her mission, obviously everything had already happened by then. So there were some little subtleties throughout those videos. Like I was staying in a room that had a view of a marina with boats mm -hmm. and those things were all very near and dear to my dad. And it was just, it all felt like he was somehow involved in that coming together. It felt like he was there. It was just one of those things that like there were subtleties throughout. But now knowing what you guys know, I think it'd be interesting to go back and watch and look for those things because they were like big deals to me at the time. I just wasn't able to really talk about them. We've definitely felt his love here with us. We talked about it's a new month, it's a new start, it's a fresh season on the vlog, a lot of new beginnings. And with new beginnings, you guys, it's a chance and an opportunity to look inside, to reflect, to think of how you want to be remembered. And start working on that person today. Start working on those things Never that you want late. to improve today. Thank you guys. We love you. Can't say it enough. Can't tell you how much we feel your love. We love having you be a part of our lives. We love being back with you. We are going to see you guys again tomorrow. Make sure you come back. Love you. See you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Yay!